And good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. Tonight, we're hearing firsthand from the Geis family of Olean as they publicly thank all those who helped to locate their son, Cole, who is now safely back home. Channel 2 photojournalist Katie Brown spoke with them this afternoon. Here's our Ron Plants with their story new tonight. It's amazing what a small community can do when they really want to put together and um, it was, it's a lot of positive stuff in this whole experience. And indeed it was a community effort in Olean and finding the 22 year old Cole who went missing May 2nd. After extensive searches by police, firefighters, family, friends and community volunteers who also spread the word on social media, Cole was spotted Saturday night by staffers in this fast food restaurant and brought back by police. They figured out he had lived in this vacant Adams Street home for 13 days and was in hiding as he tried to be independent and used a hoodie to conceal himself on the street. And according to police, Cole, who was autistic, was also unaware of the frantic search efforts for him as a special needs adult. His mom clarified it this way. Cole, Cole didn't run away. Cole, what did you say? Why did you leave? You went on vacation, right? Yeah. You said, I went on vacation. Now time for relief and rejoicing for this reunited family. It's tears of joys and happiness. It's, it's great to have him back. It really He's is. It's just that last piece of puzzle that was missing, and that's what it was. I mean, I don't know, like, do you like seeing everybody? Did you coming back and seeing everybody? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. It's nice. It is. It's, it's a good experience um, to know that there's that many people that, that care about them. And their situation extended way beyond Olean and Cattaraugus County. We had people in Florida. We had people in California. It was just amazing how far it got out and just to see how... Uh, Many people reached out and they were like, hey, we hope you find them. Only and police also relieved, but asking Cole to consider carrying a cell phone to keep in touch. And once again, from the family to anyone who helped look for him or prayed he would be found. People who said they were crying when they found out he was home. The, the people who found him that, you know, that we heard they were. It's just, it's a good feeling. It's, uh, and we, we really can't, we can't thank him enough. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.